Hi everyone, you reach Chronicles of the Radio Diva. If this is your first time, welcome. If not, welcome back. For all of you out there, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. Hit the like button, chat with me in the comments, and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back and share my video with your friends and family so that they can come to my channel and get to know me also. I'm here today with my tea time moment of the day and I'm just having a, a green tea. Can you see the steam coming up? I'm just having a plain green tea no sugar no honey it's plain it's okay i gotta get used to having plain tea but you know i'm trying to get my life over to here um together over here you know nutrition wise so we're gonna see how this goes but i am having a green tea today so my tea time video of the day is about nene leaks uh her current boyfriend the boyfriend finally filing for divorce and you know how did we get here Okay, how did Nene, the one who said, close your legs to marry man, end up with somebody else's guy? And you know, a lot of people hate when, you know, people say, oh, somebody else's guy or somebody else's wife because they feel like people on property. You don't own them. And in addition to that, a person has the right at any given time to do whatever it is they want to do. And I don't disagree with that, right? But the thing is, when you come together under the eyes of the law and God and say, I do, you agree to having a commitment with a person. And yes, you, the one that came to that agreement, has the highest level of responsibility in that union. But an outside person, a third party, Although you may not have any legal responsibility to that union, to me, you have a moral responsibility. So how does a woman who coined the phrase, close your legs to marry men, end up with a man that is still in an engagement, still in an entanglement, okay? And then not only just end up with him, how do you trust a person who would do what he did to his wife how do you trust them with your heart? How do you trust them to not do you dirty? What makes you think that you are so different from the wife that he would do her dirty, but he would never do it to you? And so if you want a, a, an amazing timeline uh, on how um, Nene's boyfriend, you know, was still with the wife, when he was Nene, with, was with Nene, even though he claimed he wasn't, okay? Go to Tasha K's channel. She has the receipts, the pictures, the timeline, the whole nine yards, okay? Why is the timeline important? It's important because in the state of North Carolina, and it's not with so many states that has this law, right? They have the law called um, um, alienation of affection, where if I am married, and my spouse um, has an affair, I can sue the person that he is having an affair with for taking away my husband, his affection, his time, and his love. And listen, guys, whether you like it or not, it's a law that is this, okay? So the boyfriend's wife is suing Nene, saying that Nene stole her man. Nene in the court of law wants to prove that no, I didn't steal her man. They were separated when I got with him. And so when Nene's boyfriend filed for divorce recently in the courts, in the state of North Carolina, you also, before you can file for divorce, have to be separated from your spouse for one whole year. So he put in the court papers that he was separated from his wife since September of 2021. But if you go to Tasha K's channel, then, because this social media will get people in trouble all the time. He had on his social media pictures from November of 2021 when he took his wife to Paris and they was chilling. So who separates from their spouse in September, but then they're so close that they take him to Paris in November um, with her family, got pictures in the whole nine yards. I don't really see where people that are separating go on such an expensive trip do that. But 
That's what he's trying to do. And why would he backdate it to September? To also prove that when he got with Nene, him and his wife were done done. And then that would make um, the wife's lawsuit go out the door. So I just wanted to give that little background to say this. I'm shocked that Nene would put herself in this position. Um, I, I've never personally been with anybody where what they was doing to me at night when two grown people get together or maybe during the day when two people take the clothes off and do what they do. I, I never got with anybody where it was that good that I'm going to risk my integrity, my morality, my money over whatever that man got in his pants. I'm good. No, thank you. Goodbye. So for me, I don't understand how people can trust someone with their heart, knowing what they did to someone else's heart. How do you build your house of greatness off of somebody else's pain? If I would have met this man and he would have said I'm separated and I know he got a wife and a kid and he's not divorced. Because, you know, sometimes divorce happens. I'm not going to hold a divorce against anybody. But if I know he got a wife and kid and y'all just separated now, um, dial my number when you actually get divorced. And if I'm still single and you're really single, then maybe we could talk. But right now, I don't want to come in the midst of you divorcing your wife and trying to help your child wrap his mind around the fact that mommy and daddy are no longer going to be together. And I especially wouldn't do that because... I have a child and I know what that's like and I wouldn't want my um, child's father to not be engaged in my child's life and I certainly wouldn't want to get with a man that is not going to continue to be in his child's life. Now, I don't know what the boyfriend is doing in terms of the child, but I do know that they don't live in the same state. You don't see as many pictures of, um, of his child on his Instagram so I don't know how involved he is or is not. So I'm not necessarily accusing this man of no longer engaging with his child. Just have the conversation with me and, you know, follow along. So in terms of Nene, it's extremely shocking to me that, you know, she felt that the best she can do is get with this man who was still married, not truly really separated for a year. And have this relationship with him, thinking that, you know what, he's going to do right by me, even though he didn't do right by the wife that he was with for over two decades. Well, listen, guys, chat with me in the comments. And when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. If you are single and you met someone who said they are separated, are you going to engage and have a relationship with them or date them? If you get with a man who is married but want to claim that him and his wife is having so many problems would you date that person or would you say to yourself and tell that person listen once you get divorced come holler at me come chat with me then we could talk or do you feel that because you are not the one that said i do um that situation is not your responsibility if he no longer wants to be with his wife and he wants to be with you, you're going to go ahead and roll with it. And if you do roll with it, would you trust this man if y'all get to the point where he says, I want to marry you? Would you trust him with your heart? Would you trust him with your mind? Would you trust him with your body? Would you trust him with a, your soul? Would you trust that he wouldn't turn around at some point and do you dirty like he did his ex? Listen, guys, chat with me in the comments, and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. Unfortunately, I do feel, but time only tell, that Nene is going to lose this lawsuit against his uh, uh, estranged wife because the way the facts line up, he was not legally separated from his wife when he got with Nene. And at the end of the day, whatever this woman wins in this lawsuit, Nene has to ask herself, 
was he worth a million dollars or two million dollars or five hundred thousand dollars or a hundred thousand um, dollars that she has to pay this wife when she loses this case? Chat with me, guys, and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. I'll see y'all later on today. I'm going live, not sure what time yet, but we're just going to have a trending topics conversation. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, and I'll see y'all in the next video.